What's up, my pilots? Anger Poncho here. We're back playing Fallout 3. What should we do in this episode? Hmm. We, uh... Got some weird stuff going on right now. We got a bunch of quests and things. Uh, I guess we could continue with the Wasteland Survival Guide, since that's a fairly productive quest line to be a part of. I just I, I decided to opt out in the last video, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep going in it or not, but... It's a good quest to get done out of the way because of the perk that you get at the end. It's a helpful perk throughout the entire game because it just boosts some abilities and some stats and things. and It's a good one to take early. There's a reason that they put Moira in the very first town. They want you to find this quest right away so you can take advantage of the wealth of experience and items you get from it. Welcome to Craterside Supply! Hey, Moira! Hey, don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals. But it's perfectly safe to breathe. Really? <laughs> Haven't you said that a few times already? I'm ready to start researching the next chapter. Right after I take a bite of my chocolate chip oatmeal cream pie. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there. For better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats. Uh, learning about mire lurks. And when all else fails, how to handle being <laughs> injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Um, I think we talk about handling injuries. Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Glad you think so highly Next of me. Next time you get badly injured, Return here, so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Sure. All right, I'll come back here if I get hurt. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. Yeah, I'm great. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. <laughs> I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Thanks, Moira. <sighs> I like her, her high reputation of us, which is just... Oh, you see, look at this. I'm already Hi. injured. I'm already below 50% health. Look at that. We've just started, and I'm already seriously injured. <laughs> I didn't have to leave the room. Well, that's an easy quest. Okay, I do want to get the bonus objective, though. So what I'm actually going to do is, uh... I'm going to stim up a little bit so I don't die. And I'm going to throw myself off of the railing. Oh! That was too much! Oh, I, I overestimated. I was hoping to cripple my legs. I think I actually managed to succeed. I think I did cripple my legs. Ah, hell, we got an autosave just then. Let's... Let's, let's see. Oh, I'm jumping around. I'm going across all my menus. Everything's going crazy. Do three stims this time. See if that's enough to help. I should fix it, right? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Man, what kind of shoes am I wearing? I know they're supposed to be combat boots, but they look like clogs. Black clogs. Wow, I seriously broke my hips. Look at that. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Hey. Okay, um, let's jump a little bit less of a distance. Just break our legs. Oh, I didn't even hurt myself that time. Man, the line between death and no damage at all is such a fine line. Alright, so if I jump off the top of this, what happens? Nothing. Okay, so that clinic isn't high enough. Okay, so the clinic... Look at, look at this, though. Jumping from here does no damage. Jumping from there kills me. Alright, let's go halfway in between. Oh! Ow! Yeah, well, that did it. Okay. How bad are my legs? Oh, they're getting there. Think I can survive one more of those? I don't know, it's gonna be close. Maybe what I should do is have another stim. Yeah, take a stim and then jump off the same place again. Hopefully, that will break my legs. Oh, that crippled both my legs. Now I'm gonna limp back over to Moira's place. <laughs> I like how two 
of the quest uh, for Moira can be accomplished by injuring yourself around the town. Because in the last video, we stood and drank irradiated water for a few minutes. In this video, we're throwing ourselves off of balconies. In the name of science! And you just, you can't say no to this. It's really weird. I feel like I've already done this. I mean, this is the first time recording this. I'm getting deja vu, like I must have dreamed about it or something. Well, how do you feel? I feel alright. No, actually, I'm in a horrible, horrible pain. Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. It really hurts. Oh, okay, let's see. <laughs> My only solace is in thinking about inflicting this pain on people like you. Alright, so we got intelligence and endurance again. I hardly even feel pain anymore. Pain's an abstract. I say focus on definable things. It's really dumb. I guess I'll take the endurance one again. Deadened nerves? That's probably a bad sign, you know. Like nervous system degradation type of bad. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Okay. Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? I don't know. I have two broken legs. It's tough for me to figure out, to be honest. Are we done? Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. What is it, on my ass? Here. Take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Oh, thanks. All right. Tell me more about the second chapter, Moira. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. Sure. There's a lot we don't know about Meyer Lurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. All right. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Give me the mole rats first. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. All right, can do. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. Hmm. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties. But for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. All right, I will head there right away. I have to go now. Man, I keep trying to play with the D-pad, which is not how you move. It's how you do hotkeys. I don't have anything hotkey because I don't really, I don't change stuff often enough for it to matter. And I don't like having my stim packs on hotkeys. I think some people will like to do that. I I don't because I like to have a very careful count of how many stim packs I have left, and if I have them on a hotkey, I'm just going to be eating them all the time. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to do that, because all of a sudden I'll run out, and it's like, whoops, I didn't even see it coming, whereas if I have to open my inventory and then get them out, I'll see how many I have left each time I use one, and I can keep track of how much danger I'm in and know when it's time to go get some more stims. Although, typically it doesn't end up being a practical problem because I pick up stims whenever I can. So whenever I'm with a merchant, I, I buy all their stims. Alright, let's get our weapon out here. Where is the repellent stick? There we go. Doesn't do much damage against anything other than mole rats, so don't get any funny ideas. Check out what this thing does. It's pretty great. Don't they, like, explode or something? I thought they blew up. Yeah, look at that. That's... Just watch this thing. Oh! Yeah, that's pretty harsh, I gotta be honest. There's two. Uh, three. Ooh, wow, two hits does it right away. Alright, so that's three more rats. What's this? Turret control. Ooh. Now wait. If I hack this, is it gonna... Oh, that's a... It's not even... More rats down there, it's raiders. Alright, I can kill raiders. Carriages. Two of... Considers one of. Let's get away from C. Let's see. What about the L start with C? Jeez. 
Alright, which of these only has one in common? All these start with con, so that's not it. CO, that is two, that is two, that is two. Sometimes your none of is more helpful than your all of. Because it helps you rule out more things. It gives you more information. So that one was pretty pretty easy. Alright, let's uh, reconfigure the targeting parameters. Alright, so now I'm just going to shoot everything. So you should see that turret up there shooting at that raider. That raider's upset about it. Nope, actually the raider won. What was the point of this? Seriously. Alright, I guess I'll go... Oh, he's got a shotgun. That, my repellent stick I don't think will be very effective. Switch to the hunting rifle. It's go, it's go time! Let's do this! Ooh, pretty strike. Ooh, look at his head. Yeesh. It's so gross. I feel like they might have overdone it a little bit in this game. Alright. Pick up all the stuff. Oh, he killed a mole rat. It's kind of annoying because I, I don't want them all to be dead by the time I get here. I want to use the repellent on them. Well, don't think that that counts if you hit them when they're already down. We've only hit it on three so far, so... There's another one there. Yeah, sometimes that turret just kind of... I don't know if it I don't know if it actually kills the mole rats, or if it's the raider that's killed the mole rats by the time you get there. But... Try to avoid taking damage if I can. That makes five mole rats. Is that enough for the quest? How many does this quest require? It's the same room. What's up here? I see more people. Are they more rats or are they people? No, they're more rats. Great. That's what, five, six, seven, eight more rats, if I'm keeping count correctly. Could be wrong there. You notice I got 12 experience for that, rather than six? You kill two enemies in quick succession, it just puts their experience together for you. Rather than showing one and then quickly changing to the other. It just gives you a more accurate track of how, how much experience you've really gotten. Let's see. Well, nothing else over here. I guess that means this downstairs area is cleared. May have missed a room or two, but I think there's plenty of mole rats in this zone for you to test on, so. I think too bad. Okay, so this is where we came in. Let's go down here. Hmm. Is that it? Don't, don't tell me that I run out of mole rats because some of them were killed. That would be a really lame ending to this story. Because that's the exit there, right? Yeah, that's actually the, the capital wasteland, that's where my marker is sending me. Alright, so there's nothing to the right. Down there seems to have been cleared. This room is small, but has stuff in it. I need to be paying more attention, I didn't see this the first time. Railway spikes. Again, they're ammo, so we'll take them. I should be getting the mole rat meat off these guys. I, I mean, I eat that stuff. Get a little health back. Because there's, there's plenty of rat away in the game, so there's, there's no excuse to say no to free food. Yeah, I feel like I may have just uh, gotten screwed out of the bonus objective because these mole rats are already dead. Now, of course, we could just go wandering about the wasteland until I find enough mole rats to finish the objective, and I'm actually really tempted to do that. Have I opened, have I opened this door? There's more back here. You seem to be dead already. Right? Just kind of chilling out. This is weird. Have I been here already? This doesn't seem familiar. No, I've definitely not been here. Are those landmines? Damn. Oh, there's a raider down there. Is that a raider? That is a guy named Rock Salt. I don't like killing named raiders, because I feel like they're involved in some kind of quest or something. And they likely are. Alright, officer's sword or shotgun? Yeah, shotgun. Hey, come this way, dude. Yes, right that way. Perfect. Yeah. Good work. Why aren't you blowing up the mine? the hell? Fine, punk. Come out here and do it personally. There's somebody standing on a mine. His corpse just landed on a mine. Like, it's a little bit strange, isn't it? Don't be, don't, 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 don't do that now. I'm trying to pick something up and it's, I'm reloading. You can't pick stuff up while you're reloading. There we go. See, pick this one up. Oh come on, give me some more mole rats. I need more mole rats. They wouldn't put mines behind their barricades, would they? No, then they'd blow themselves up. Well, there's more raiders back here. If I see any mole rats, I'll switch to my repellent stick, but until then. 
Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Wow. That guy must have had... Maybe I had a critical miss in that first shot, because it, I didn't seem to do much damage at all. Take all his shotgun shells, I like this gun, I'll tell you that. Come here, you. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, sometimes it seems like it does a lot more damage on the second shot than on the first. Maybe it's breaking through their damage resistance or something, I don't know. Mm, there's a safe down here. Lock picking is at 50, right? Yeah, awesome. Did that in the last level. Okay, let's go left. Nope, it's to the right. Oh, ah, too much! I'm thinking it's an easy lock. I'm trying to zip it around it's a little too much there. Some bottle caps, a laser pistol. It's not worth a whole lot, but it's pretty light, so we'll take it. Boxes, darts. Always taking the darts. Whoops, that's not the button to pick things up with. That's the jump button. What is this, Portal 2? Jumping instead of talking and picking things up? Assault rifle. Any of these books interesting? Just sort of explore the place, take all the good stuff. Let's see, coffee mugs. Not there's anything particularly amazing down here, but it never hurts to check. You can find some stims, some chems at least. A little bit of vodka there, it seems. Oh, come on, tell me there's more mole rats out here. Huh. Whoa, let's be careful now. Ooh, that one almost went off. Is there a big hole in the wall here? What is this? That looks a little weird. There's another door there. Where that goes? Shit! Whoa! My game lagged. There's a mole rat here. Maybe I'm headed the right way. Could be more in here. Come on, mole rats! Yes! That, 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 those two might be enough to finish this off. Alrighty. Two. And this should be ten. Yes! Alright. So that means you got ten total. Now, is there an exit out here? It'd be nice to get... Yeah, they give, they give you extras here. And maybe there's another exit around here. Let's see. Ah, uh, blocked in wall. Is this all part of the same local area? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we just went through the sewers instead of... Alright, well wait a minute. On the map there, it looks like it could be... Oh no, it's not connected. Alright, we need to go back the way we came in order to get out of... Oh, Jesus! What? Ugh, how did I miss him? How did I not see him on the way in? Ugh. Yeah, those guys, those guys are... Those guys can be pretty scary the way they leap out at you like that. I realize there's probably more loot back there, but meh. Let's focus. Stay focused on the task at hand. Some more shouting. Don't see any people. Okay. Just keep on rolling. Could pick up all those landmines and sell them, but meh. Keep on rolling. So, uh, I guess now we've done this, I'm just gonna meet you back with Moira. Moira, I'm home! Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working! Me either. I tested it extensively! Oh, excellent! Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. Huh. What more could I ask for in a research assistant? Sex? So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. It blew their freaking heads off. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. It seems that the Morats have a fatal explosive allergy. <laughs> Those poor little mole raddies. Oh, I wonder if I could make a hypoallergenic version. Oh, but that'd hardly be effective. Yeah. I should mention that. Proper handling of mole rats could be important if they could be domesticated. Milked, maybe? You. Oh, anyway, keep the repellent. Oh, but for your trouble, um, here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. I can snort them. Alright, the last part of the chapter is about mire lurks, right? Yes, knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. Okay. Uh, but how the heck am I going to get into a mire lurk lair? This has got to be worth it for me, Myra. Moira. While you're working on that, I'll be following up on a lead I've got for a couple stealth boys. When you're done, they're yours. 
And who knows? Maybe we'll learn something useful from the Meyer Lurks. Wait a minute. How how am I supposed to How am I supposed to sneak in there if you're gonna give me the stealth boys after? Ugh! That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Meyer Lurks down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. Oh, all right. Huh. <sighs> Let's see what you have for sale. Because if she has a stealth boy, it would be under aid. No, okay, she doesn't. Well, shirt. Who else could have a stealth boy? So I can tell you right now, what what did she give me that over encumbered me? Both of her chems, really? That over encumbered me? Repair a couple rifles. Actually, I could do to sell a few things. Uh, I'm gonna do a little a little errands here, so sell some stuff, and I'm gonna go buy some stims from the uh, clinic down in the bottom of the area, and then I'll meet you when I try to find someone who has stealth boys. All right, here we are at the med clinic. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Okay. Asshole. I need to buy medical supplies. Not quite as good as that vault stuff you're used to, but it'll do you. Great, cause I could use 17 stim packs. All right, what if I got sell that's worth 600 credits? Credits? What game is this? Come on, get on it, man! Ah, poison glands—they're valuable. Cigarettes, uh, cherry bombs, darts, energy cells, too many nukes, railway spikes. Wow, I don't have enough junk to sell to get to get my money back on this. I thought I, I thought I would have. I thought I would have had enough. Drop a couple of assault rifles on this. Combat knife and that we're gonna use. Oh, the frag mines, I don't need those. Frag grenades, meh. Ah, okay, oh, and the laser pistol. Boom! Now we're in the green. Alrighty. It's good for me, 17 stims. Thank you very much. You done? Nice good. doing business with you, sir. Yeah, bye. Asshole. Alrighty then. Here we are at the Anchorage War Memorial. Look at those jokers. They look so dumb. Uh, let's see if we can find a way inside. Our marker seems to be directing us over here. I'm not sure to where exactly over here. Let's... Whoa! What the hell? That sounded like a boomer shooting a rocket launcher at me. Hope that wasn't actually what just happened. Jeez. All right, what is this? Huh, open door through Anchorage Memorial Facility. Now, if I know one thing, it's that saving your game before going in here. Actually, you know what we can just do? We can do. A, we can wait for one hour, and we'll get an auto save. How cool is that? All right, now that everything's gray, we're gonna go inside, and I'm gonna show you guys my secret strategy for getting through the Anchorage Memorial Facility. All right, let's take it easy. Go slow. Stay, stay sneaky, stay hidden. Don't go too fast. You can use third person to look around corners, just like Navi told you. And we want to find Meyer Lurk nests. Alright, looks clear. We need to get down near the water. Again, third person is your friend. We got a Meyer Lurk in there. Gonna wanna shut that door, find another way. Let's head back upstairs. Now, down near the water, that was our hint here. So, we're gonna wanna try to find our way downwards at some point. Let's have a look in there. Don't see any Meyer lurks. It could be just around the corner, though, so we gotta be very careful here. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's right underneath us. Alright, you see that compass marker go past? Let's open this door here. God, there's a dead guy in here. Jeez, what the heck? A dead woman! Ooh, a wastelander. Ooh, 11 caps. Nice. Awesome. That's all this stuff. Toy car... Vision battery, that's valuable. Railway spikes, I'll take those. Oh, bad! I'm not really tired. Alright. Let's keep moving. Now, be careful here. They don't, they don't see me, do they? Oh. Another wastelander. More caps. Yeah, don't go around that corner. Let's actually close that door. Alright, have to find another way. Sneaky, sneaky. Run! Run! Unsneak! Find your way downstairs as quickly as possible! Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ah, running around a table. Ah, I'm running around a table. You're dumb. Look at this guy. He's pretty intent, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> Anchorage. What? I just went through a door to another area. Oh god. Down by the water. Hey, there's some, there's some water. There's a pod. Let's just stick the device right in there. Hey, hey. Now all I have to do is find a way out of here. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. We're gonna die. Hmm, back to the memorial entrance, huh? That's probably the path we're supposed to take. Alright. Now that that problem is solved, I'm gonna jump over your counter. Confuse you. Aha! Good thing that I have wit on my side. As well as agility. Man, you guys should have seen me. Oops, that's not the right way to go. You guys should have seen me hiding some, hiding some rad scorpions earlier. It's pretty impressive. We're gonna want to go back in here to the entrance. No, wait, is it service entrance that we want? Or is it. Let's pull up our pit boy and have a look at the local map. I don't know, we don't know this area very well, do we? Oh god. Oh god. He's angry. He's very angry. There's a door. It's activated elsewhere. Follow that button right next to it. I don't think he sees us. Shit, look at him. He's sliding into the walls. He's going crazy. Let's push the button. Oh shit. More wire lurks. Now the interesting thing about this objective is that it's only to not kill the wire lurks. It's totally cool to run circles around their furniture. That's acceptable. So I guess this is a shortcut in and out. The service entrance? Yeah, I remember this being here, this service entrance. I just, I didn't remember where it was from the outside, and so I didn't bother trying to find it. You taking a dump in there, dude? Oh. Dude. Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get killed. We need stems. We need stems. Or just some steak. Purified water, some mole rat meat. Just throw down some dandy boy apples, a brahmin snake, and a blomco mac and cheese, and you're good to go, buddy! Do any of these lead to an exit? That door's not opening, even though I hit the A button. I wanna see what's in there. It's not the exit. Oh god, too many Meyer lurks. This is not good. I'm playing a speedy character, so it's an advantage here. Ooh, that could be an exit down there. Looks like it could be an exit, there's a dead guy here. What you got for me, buddy? Some, ah, some caps! Thanks, bud. Oh, it's a very easy lock to get in and out of here. Definitely want to come in the back way, then. If you think you can sneak past these Mirelorks in here. Although, honestly, you need to be pretty sneaky in order to get this quest done anyway, because as I have obviously demonstrated here, if you're seen, you are going to die, and you have no chance of possibly escaping, because the Mirelorks are ruthless, ruthlessly efficient hunters. They will knock over the furniture to get to you. Okay, now that we're outside and everything's magically okay because the Mirelurks have completely forgotten we ever entered their house and their nest and such, we can now return to Megaton and get our quest reward from Moira! Alrighty then, Got guess what I did! 
So are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king or priests or some sort of scaly community center? No, but they do have lots of eggs. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. Oh, thanks. I've been getting a good signal. But what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? Hmm. They're kind of nasty. Oh, let's see. They descended from the local crabs. I'd call them horrendous. That's very scientific of you. Personally, I wasn't sure if they were crabs or if they came from some sort of brine shrimp, perhaps. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these, so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Oh, stealth boys. I believe that completes the second chapter's research. Correct as always. And your feedbacks really led to a very smartly written book. Maybe too smart for some folks, I worry. Of course, if the reader can't be bothered to understand something important as a book on how to stay alive, then what can we do, huh? And in case those readers blame you for their ignorance, here's your payment. Two big boxes of ammo. Now, on to the next chapter. Eh, uh, maybe in the next video, Moira. Don't take too long. The sooner the book's done, the more people we can save with it. Yeah, you hear that, commenters? The sooner the book's done, the sooner we get a perk that'll help us through the rest of the game. Hi. Oh, it's Maggie! Hello. Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy, Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Wait. Do you know any good secrets, Maggie? Well, Billy built a safe into the floor of our house. He keeps all sorts of cool stuff in there. I shouldn't tell you this, but the combination is 15, 16, 23, 42, if you want to take a look. Just make sure that you put everything back if you take anything out to play with it. I don't want to get in trouble. Thanks, Maggie. I won't tell anyone your secret. Bye, mister. And that's why the child at Heart Perk is really freaking creepy. Sweet. So, uh, what, what was the what was the combination? Four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, forty-two. Did I copy that down right? Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.